25 year old nursing student Brittany Diggs was abducted allegedly outside her apartment. She was forced to drive her car and then her abductor stuffed her into the trunk of the car. Now, fortunately, there was a law passed in the year 2000 that says that there has to be a release inside the trunk that will allow the trunk to be opened from the inside. Well, she found that in the darkness, was able to pull it and jumped out. And her dramatic escape from the moving car was all captured on a video camera here at the gas station. The unbelievable escape of a terrified woman rolling out of the trunk of a moving car, all captured on video. That woman, 25 year old Brittany Diggs, fleeing from her suspected kidnapper, threatening to kill her. Earlier in the night, the suspect grabbed her at gunpoint outside her home, forcing her into her own car. He was like, well, since you don't have any money, um, you're going to help me get money. So he made me drive him to another side of town. He tried to rob two other couples. When that wasn't working, he made her pull over. I kept telling him I was a broke college student. I don't have anything. And... Um, He's like, well, let's pop your trunk. Let's look in the trunk. So looked in the trunk. Of course, there's nothing there. And he's like, now get in the trunk. Back in the car, he found her wallet. He's like, give me your PIN number or I'm going to kill you. Like the, every other thing he said was, or I'm going to kill you. After multiple failed attempts at the ATM, his final threat at the last gas station. If this don't work, I'm going to kill you. Brittany says panic was setting in. My biggest fear was he was going to drive this car into a river. I'm going to drown here and nobody's going to know I'm in this trunk. So she came up with a plan. I'm just sitting there thinking and I'm like, I might have a trunk latch. I remember seeing a video on Facebook. So I just got the bright idea to use my insulin pump light. So I found the latch. He's in the store. I'm holding the latch like this, waiting for him to get back in the car. He gets in, he's yelling, he's pulling off pretty fast. So I'm like, oh shoot, let me hurry and get out here. Like he's pulling off faster than I thought he was. So pop the trunk, pop the latch and I step out instead of rolling out. Frantic, she ran into the gas station and hid while the owner called police. This morning, her alleged kidnapper still at large. This photo put out by police is all there is to go on. Brittany says until he's caught, her nightmare will not end. I try to put it in the back of my head so I can just, you know, like get through the day. But that was like like this, the scariest thing I've ever had to deal with. It, it was just a lot because I'm not from here. I don't have, you know, I don't have a support system down here besides my roommate. I just felt like it was a lot. Brittany Diggs decided to speak out, she said, because she's hoping it will help police catch her, her alleged abductor. Now, she has really been traumatized by this, so she's not going to go back to her apartment to live. Uh, they did recover her car, much like this Altima here, but she says she now wants nothing to do with it because of what happened. And so when she was abducted and they were going from gas station to gas station, her ATM card was successful with the abductor to get at least $100 out of her account, but she's a college student, has very little money, so her friends have set up a GoFundMe account to help her through this. Savannah? Well, she's a very brave young woman. Carrie Sanders, thank you. And they need to catch this guy quickly. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.